Hi, this is Ben at ITNH, and in this video we're going to go over how to generate white in Mamaki Rasterlink Pro 6. Now, first off, let's make sure to have a job open and selected on your job list. From here, we're going to go to the right side of the screen and click on the Special Plate button. This brings us to the Special Plate window. Here we have a varied options for generating our special colors. First, we'll select our special color, white. Then we'll enter in a percentage. This might vary based on the job at hand or the printer you're running. The next is the created area. We have two options here. Whole image, which will flood coat the entire artboard of your file. And valid pixel, which will generate a special color, in this case white, wherever it sees color data in your file. In this case, behind our logo. Our next option is an execution. I'll recommend turning on composite automatically because this will automatically link your white file to your color file for ease of use of printing. Now you have two options here, both top and bottom. This would be where the special color goes down in relation to your color. If it's on top, you have your color first, then the white on top. This can be helpful if you're printing on something like glass, crystal, or acrylic. But for today, we're going to go with bottom. So the white is going to function as a backing. At that point, just click Create, and your white file will be generated and automatically linked to your color file. You may notice there's one more option at the bottom of the special plate. This is for automatic creation. This is, has to do with favorites and making it so you can automate your process. We can go into more detail on this in another video. An optional but helpful step when generating white is to add a thinning. For that, we're going to go to the Layers tab. Once here, you'll notice a completely different screen layout. On the left side of the screen, select the white part of your job. From here, you want to go to your special color size correction. Once here, enable the correct the size. Select Thinning and then increase your scan and feed by a couple pixels. What this does is chokes in the white behind your image. This way you don't have any white parts peeking out from behind your color. And that's how you generate white in Mamaki Rasterlink Pro 6. Whether you're a first time buyer or an experienced user looking to expand your capabilities, we invite you to call us or schedule a demo at one of our national showrooms. Also, feel free to check out our website, itnh.com, for other great videos.